My name is Dave, and this is El Jardín Perito. About five years ago, I got my first plant. It's a jalapeno. I remember nursing it, even bringing it inside for a while. And just that feeling I got when it produced its own fruit, and just knowing that that came from my hand. I mean, it was addictive. And of course, that momentum caught. And I got some cilantro, some tomatoes. I built some raised beds, and it just caught this tremendous momentum. And uh, you know, you see people out there on YouTube or whatever, and they have this elaborate food forest. And it's intimidating, but really, when you're in it, it's just one thing a week or two things there, and uh, it just builds up and it's contagious too. That's what's awesome about it. Yeah, there was some trial and error. I, uh, you know, a few things didn't make it. I had to do a little research, figure out why things were and weren't working. You know, I brought in some trees and I started experimenting with things, seeing what worked and what didn't. And uh, I got some chickens and yeah, it just started little by little at a koi pond. I started raising quail and did some research on that. We eventually got noticed that we had to uh, vacate. And, you know, I was working on a lot, maybe a few hundred meters squared. And so I eventually found a really nice house and uh, kind of started from square one there. You know, it was, it was like a curse and a blessing. It was like I hated tearing up what I had, you know, I got everything that I could into pots and transplanted. It was definitely a bigger property. I just needed some TLC. There was a lot of overgrowth, a lot of weeds. It was quite a catastrophe here, and I kind of, my first order was clearing everything out and kind of starting from scratch and uh, slowly planting in what I brought from the old place. And, you know, this time around, I had a little more knowledge. Um, I was a little more careful with aesthetic and this and that. Since it was my own house, you know, it wasn't purely permaculture for functionality. It was also an aesthetic to it. So, you know, if I ever sold this place. But yeah, that's where El Jardín Perito started. I'm not quite permaculture, um, but I'm definitely not your standard American lawn. I basically want to establish a food forest here, but make it as aesthetically appealing as possible incorporate a lot of permaculture into it. Um, a lot of functionality though, things shading each other and this and that. Everything's really well mulched, um, kind of the back to Eden method, but I do still have raised beds and things of that sort. So just kind of mixing it up. And you know, I'm learning all these skills like cloning, germination, grafting, and uh, you know, I learned all that stuff on my own, just research, going online, YouTube, just like everyone else. and. Uh, you know, I got to a point where where I was doing things, and especially things I'd done multiple times, and it was like, you know, clockwork to me, and I'm thinking, you know, why not set up a tripod? And, you know, it's kind of crude. I usually, at least in the beginning, started with an iPhone, and um, audio isn't great. Production isn't 100%. I'm actually in production, so... But you know, it's better to get something out there than be a perfectionist, and that's where I was coming from. But that was where El Jardín Perito was born. Of course, its name uh, was derived from the fact that this used to be kind of a forgotten land. There's evidence, you know, between some citrus trees, things popping up like tomatillas and stuff. I could tell at some point that this used to be, you know, used for the same purpose, but by the time I got to it, it was completely lost. So I'm kind of getting back the lost garden in a sense, and that's where I'm coming from. Um, but yeah, El Jardín Perdido is documenting what I'm doing, not only for myself, so I can look back and see what works and what doesn't, because it is very helpful, but the fact that I learned so much from content out there that you know me putting out content after my own trial and error should be really helpful for other people.